Lee Precision has caused kind of a stir with their new progressive press, the Auto Breech Lock Pro. It retails for a little over a hundred dollars and uh, in this video I'll show you how I set mine up and show you how to avoid a couple of mistakes that I made and in a later video we'll see if it meets expectations and can load 300 rounds per hour which is a lot. At first I mounted the new progressive press here and that did not work out very well at all. This bench plate is a much better solution. It has a nice wide footprint, easy to anchor down. You've got four Phillips screws here that you can loosen and you can just pop your press out like that and exchange it for a different one. You don't have to have them all set up uh, permanently. So uh, I think I'm going to like that. It frees up a lot of, a lot of space on my bench. The bench plate instructions clearly say to mount it even with the edge of the bench. Well, I checked my clearances with the handle up and I decided I had room to set it back a little bit. Well, I got kind of a, an unpleasant surprise a little later. As I brought the handle down the first time, I discovered I had a little bit of interference between the primer disposal tube and my bench and that little relief that I had to cut is about a quarter inch deep. So you may have to adjust the position of your bench plate to accommodate if you've got a thick bench like I do. The press comes with three quick change bushings, which are nice, and it also comes with one quick change bushing that has a lock ring built into it. And uh, depending on how you want to set up, You'll either want a set of four of these for each cartridge you reload, or three of these and one of these for each cartridge you reload. The quick change bushings are uh, pretty nice because uh, you can just give a little twist like this and the die and bushing come out. And when you've made your adjustments, then you can just pop it in back in like that and you preserve your spacing and setting. So it makes it very easy to change out dies. The sizing die goes in this position, just above the last E in Lee. You can adjust the depth so that it just touches the shell plate as you bring the handle down. I'm reloading 5.56 by 4.5 and the second die that I put in is the seating die and I also adjust that so that it just touches the plate and then back the cedar stem out uh, so that uh, you can adjust that later on to get the right cartridge length. The third die to go in is the charging die and you want to adjust that to a depth so that your powder dispenser operates properly and if you're doing pistol cartridges so that your uh, uh, case belling is about right. Right here you have the <clears throat> rod that operates the uh, shell plate rotation and that is captured and held in place by the uh, <clears throat> uh, special lock ring eliminator and you put that in and adjust it with a case in place so that you get the right degree of closure on your collet. Each of the stations has one of these little keepers that you can just swing out of the way if you need to get in and work on something on that station. Just for a uh, quick check I'm going to lube a single case. You'll want to probably do those in batches when you're really producing cartridges. There, that's lubed. Now bring the handle down and drop the case in the hole. Uh, with your other hand, put a primer in the primer cup. 
and get yourself a bullet. Okay, bring the handle up. That will rotate the case into place. Bring it up to size it and deprime it. Bring the handle down and up to uh, prime the case. Uh, go ahead and charge it and then it'll rotate to the next position where you'll put a bullet in place and seat the bullet and then rotate to the crimping and crimp it. Of course when you're producing cartridges you'll want to have all of those stations full at the same time so every pull, every cycle of the handle uh, gives you a new cartridge. So I think it's going to be pretty fast. We'll find out in the next video. But that's all there is to it. Very easy to set up. And I think I'm going to like it a lot.